Good morning, everyone. So finally, this week, after about two and a half months of waiting, this market has finally woken up and has actually given, you know, quite a bit of opportunity. And, um, you know, we've been seeing the stocks going up pretty much every day this whole year, and we're up ridiculously. You know, um, S&P broke 1,400, NASDAQ's above 3,000, FTSE's version on... Um, 6,000 as well. DAX has broken 7,000. So it's been it's been you know pretty one-way street for equities, but it's all been done on low volume. And um, while the Bund and other 10-year and the T note has been staying on highs, but um, after the Fed statement on Tuesday, which really wasn't nothing special, but I think the fact that they um, mentioned that improving labour picture maybe um, all of a sudden just was the cue for a massive sell-off in the long end and I'll show you what a massive sell-off looks like in the Bund uh, this is a 60 minute chart right so um, we've been just sort of trending up and we actually on this new June 12 contract went up to 139.20 I was thinking like when, when we done the last update I was sort of favouring um, longs Oh, on the last post I did, I was favouring longs in the Bund, but then that announcement came, sort of found resistance at this channel over here, and then bam, down we went. And from the high, we pretty much dropped 300 ticks in the space of about 3-4 days. It's been just relentless downward pressure in this Bund, and now it seems to have found some type of value area here, although it's still looking quite, um, um, you know, quite weak and probably could see further downside. You know, there's people saying that this is overdone and this and that, but again, it's hard to go stand in front of a steaming train, so just be a bit careful with that. And um, as you would sort of expect, um, what sort of happened with this massive drop in the Bund and overall with the whole fixed income market is a massive steepening in the yield curve. So um, if we look at the long end right now, if we look at the Schatz Bund, um, you can see here that um, so we were just trading around this 302 high 302s and then once we had the breakout we've pretty much gone up 130 odd ticks 140, 150 almost at one point at the spike over here so you know this is pretty much just a hedged outright like I've always been saying with this spread on the bund um, Shats I think has woken up a little bit as well but just been massively um, pushed by the bund and um, we've seen a massive steepening in this curve and there's a lot to steepen too because uh, we were very flat in this curve and um, as you can see um, we seem to now bounce off this 103.95 so I mean I think right now um, the way that everything is going is probably best to just play the pullbacks and go long on this spread until something really changes but what's been pushing this is the good US economic data which is coming out so if we just get a couple of bad bits then maybe we might reverse a bit but other than that I think we're still still looking to push a bit higher And um, but more than that even in the short end with the Euribor spreads it's not been an easy time to trade those especially if you've been seeing just this, standard, this range has been playing up for so long and then all of a sudden we break out big and I'm just going to show you this spread over here, which is the set 13, deck 13 spread. And um, as you can see from before, we've been just trading sevens, nines, just a rough tick, six and a halves. It just it just been playing around this range for quite a long time. So if we just kept on playing it around nines, nine and a halves down to sixes, six and a halves, pretty much it'll be good to go. It's pretty easy really, but it's just been very dry and. Um, so what's been happening um, so the last couple of days trying to be short nine, nine and a half you know, it was inevitable it was going to break one day but it just like the aggressiveness to which it broke and then it sort of went tens, ten and a halves and then we're looking at ten and a halves yesterday night and I'm just thinking surely it ain't going to go much higher than this morning we open up at eleven to eleven and a halves and I was just like holy crap and um, you know now it seems to just be stabilizing around that range a bit but you know again this is very heavily linked to the bund and the yield curve play that's going on and realistically like with 
the twos ten spread, we've got a long way up to go if this wants to. So, you know, again, like it probably be easy to go longs about you know around nine nine and a half tens. But um, you know, it's been pretty brutal and it's been like that pretty much with every single spread. And um, also, I want to show you after that Fed meeting, um, there was the most unreal price action in Euribor. It, I think it traded something like um, 20, 20,000 contracts in the first half an hour on Wednesday morning. Yeah, it, it's this bar over here. And um, we opened up, and there you can see it, on that one bar, on a five minute, we traded 11,686 contracts. And um, we opened up, and I did my normal thing, and um, before I know it, I'm long something like 60 odd lots, and someone is just dumping this ball like crazy, just taking out prices as if it was the DAX, and um, it was very, very painful, and I had to take a pretty big hit around this region over here, spread it up, and managed to reduce it a bit, luckily, but, um, you know, but then it came back up here, and lo and behold, you know, it's been behaving itself relatively well since then but I mean that was a bit scary and it's always danger of you know with these type of spreads because I mean we've never had we haven't had that type of action for a long time like n not anywhere near it this year so you know if we, I don't know if we can go back on a one minute and have a look at that it was it was pretty brutal and um, it was just it's just something now to look out for now it seems like you know, there's definitely a lot more players coming in to this market and um, yeah, so I mean, we open up at 55s and we just um, went as low as 21 and a half, so we had an eight price um, drop down on that one, which was you know quite brutal. But um, yeah, on 8,600 lots, pretty much in that first minute alone. So you know, this is something to be wary about now. But I mean, I think it's better than what we've had should get some good excitement now hopefully hopefully this ain't just um, um, what do you call it just a temporary thing and we start getting a lot more volume coming in throughout the rest of the months and years but anyway uh, till next time um, just be wary about these moves um, and um, yeah good luck with your trading